Hello, my Gemini Collective. I'm here today to give you your message of the week. Thank you for your likes, subscribes, follows, shares, and comments. I am greatly blessed by you guys. Um, if you're interested in a appointment with me, the only way to do so is through my website. It's in the description part below. Just a quick reminder that in the month of October, everything, uh, rituals, appointments, and um, products are all 50% off if you order them through the website. So I recommend you to check it out right now. So today we're going to be talking to my Gemini Collective, the ones that are spiritual warriors. This is not for narcissists, for toxic people, for negative low frequency people, or even those people that are always a victim to something. So if you are really doing it, <laughs> then this is for you. So let's see. Geminis, what would you have to tell you? I love this. I like the peacock. Actually, you know, recently in a hypnosis that I did with a person, um, Archangel Uriel, he told uh, me that he's the one that made the peacock because of the many eyes. So you did get the peacock and it's self-love. And it says, you will find great power in focusing on the positive aspects of yourself, that which makes you infinitely unique and beautiful. There are deep wells of untapped inner power in letting go of negative um, self-talk. So um, this is the woulda, shoulda, couldas. This is the um, not good enough, can't do it. Um, it's that somebody's blocking me. It's that somebody's resisting me. Um, I don't have enough money. I don't have enough resources. I'm not smart enough, uh, blah, blah, all that stuff. Oh, I'm too old. I'm too ugly. I'm too fat, blah, blah, blah. You know, all the stuff that we tell ourselves because the world tells us that we are all those limitations. And the reality is that the more that we accept these limitations within ourselves, the more we create that in our reality. So right now you're being called to do some self-love and um, break down some patterns of thoughts um, that you have created in your reality because of what others have told you. All right. So using some tarot, I'm going to find out more about the situation because it's very vague for my Geminis. Ooh, getting unstuck. <laughs> I swear to God, um, is this is the Ace of Swords. Now, this is the before tarot. So this is before the Ace of Swords is um, in the air, very strong with its crown and its, its um, value, right? It's It reminds me of, um, um, what is it? Um, King Arthur in the round table. See, the thing is that in the sword and the stone is an alchemical process. You are of earth and you think of earth and you are stuck in earth as long as you are in earth, right? And you are of earth. Now, according to the Bible and many different belief systems, you have to be in earth, but yet be of earth. So though all these crazy things are happening around you, you set yourself in a separate um, energy, knowing that though that is the reality for everybody else, I'm not because I am X, Y, and Z. And um, that's what I'm seeing, like the necessity to get unstuck because here we have the seven of swords. You're actually stealing from yourself. You're cheating yourself for the opportunities um, that you have to advance, to be more, to create the reality that you want. You have so much untapped potential inside of you, which is the peacock. Um, there is so much more that you can offer this world as long as you get yourself unstuck. Again, that is why all there are so many belief systems. One of the rules is you are in earth, but you're not of earth. And so you need to tap into the potential of where you came from, the energy that flows through you, through your lineage, so that you can use that in this reality. Um, and so they're telling you to work, 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 work. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing that. It's time for you to work, 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 work. And the interesting thing is that this is, again, the before tarot. Do you see how there's three pentacles in the bottom, but they actually don't have the star written on them? And then he has these four that he's done, and then there's one that he still has to hang. Okay, so that reminds me of the three of pentacles, which means collaboration. And it, I actually feel like the before tarot of the three of pentacles where you have to make a plan. Also, there is the four pentacles, and he's putting the highest one. And it reminds me of also the before tarot, where there's three people lay, kneeling down in front of them. And then this one person has the crown. Um, that tells me that 
wherever you, whatever milestone you have reached, right? It's also a false, false sense of security. It's also a false sense of I've reached the pinnacle when you have it. Um, and if you hold on to that crown and, and that, I want to say name, that logo, that that milestone in your life, you lose yourself. Um, it reminds me of another deck that I have that's an Oracle deck um, that, well, it's pictures that they keep bringing in my mind, um, an Oracle deck that it's kind of like darker. I have it in my office. It's not here. Um, but in it, it's like the it's like the one hit wonder, you know, the person that constantly talks about what they accomplished in the past. But since they found that that was a very important pinnacle part of their lives, it's when they peaked. And so they can't move past it because now they engrandize that that moment in their lives. So depending on where you are in your path and where you what I mean, how old you are, what you've experienced in your life or whatever, um, the thought process of peaking, the thought process of things can't get better than this, the thought process is I have these limitations are actually holding you back. And that's the four of, of pentacles that you're holding on to something so tight that you don't allow yourself the ability to advance. So there's like um, in that eight of pentacle energy, I feel two separate energies besides putting yourself to work. The first thing that you have to do is to take down that crown that you wear so proudly. Yes, I, I accomplished that and I am proud of making that accomplish, but let's do more, right? And then the second one is let's come up with a new idea for our future. It's like, this one feels very constructive. I feel like I'm, I'm ready to do something. So it's, it's a very interesting energy that you're carrying right now. See, look at this, because right now you're tied down. We have the double energy. What are you tied down to? Gemini, what are you tied down to? A mental block. And so this is the after tarot. And here we have um, the lady that's stuck in the eight of swords, but then there's this energy coming to unlock it. And this is, I feel like this message or messages like this one, or people like me that have been telling you, you can do more. Um, we're, we're kind of letting you know that your guides are telling you that you have so much more untapped potential, that your story didn't end the moment that you hit that milestone, that there's so much more that you can offer. Um, well, and now it's time for you to use the resources that you acquired through the things that you learned with the seven of pentacles there. It's like, now it's time for you to reap some of that information, those people, those resources, the insight, the knowledge of yourself, of the people around you, of the things that you can do, and then move into a different energy, something that feels like a new land for you. Um, I would say calmer waters, but I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling something new, like new land, new territory, a new world. Shut up. Look at that. See? And this is the two of wands. Now, um, in the in the normal two of wands, right? Right here, this stone, this um, staff is actually pinned to the building. And this one is, um, is free. But in this case, people are going to start looking on to the changes that you're making um, going forward, because you're, you're kind of like a teenager again, starting everything from zero. Um, I am going to tell you that the passion that you have makes other people feel, um, disempowered because you have to keep in mind that when somebody starts shining and you're older in your life or you've experienced certain things and you thought everybody thought that this was the max that you're going to receive, right? Um, and then you decide, I've, I'm tired of this. Let me move on and let me do something else. When you start getting into that energy, people around um, you are like, man, he's showing me up or she's showing me up. She's making me feel bad because I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting here. And then they start bad mouthing you. Well, he's not going to accomplish anything or she's not going to do what she says she's going to do because that makes them feel like unworthy or lacking or less than. So keep that in mind that your passion is going to stir up some people's internal demons and it's going to kind of rain in their wonderful world, the Ten of Cups. It's kind of like rain in the most, in a wedding day, right? A rain in the perfect time. And it's going to actually give them this energy of emotional turmoil. Like they love you and they hate you at the same time. Um, 
you know, you have to admire people that it doesn't matter the age they are. They're constantly thriving, moving forward, expanding and changing things. But at the same time, you kind of hate them because of the fact that you're like, uh, that makes me feel like I have to do something now. Like I can't sit around and give myself the excuse of being old or fat or dumb or blah, 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 fill in the blank, you know? And then here we have right now, what you don't see is that you have, again, a lot of untapped potential, but it requires a little bit of your help, right? The Empress card is saying that you have a lot of abundance, but the nine of um, cups is saying you can have a new dream, you can have a new wish, and you can have a new desire, and it can come to fruition. You just need to pour into it. So get to cracking, make that dream happen, have that desire, make something up and see where it takes you um, because you have so much to offer this world. I hope this helps you and we'll see you the next time.